In today's video, we are going to go on Rust Turn server and we're going to get our very, very good start. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more Rust Turn in the future, make sure to drop a like. Let's try to reach 200 likes. If we reach that like goal, I'll post much more Rust Turn content in the very near future. Also, subscribe if it's your first time here, since each one helps the channel grow a ton. In the last video, I announced a mythical giveaway and, and this is the winner. If you're watching and you want to claim your prize, please join my Discord, which will be linked in the description below. Today, we're going to run another one, which is a Spectral Gems and Vul Goggles. If you want to win this mythical, make sure that you have liked, subscribed, and comment something below. And if you are a channel, you also have a higher chance of winning. Also on my Discord, there's currently a giveaway event happening where if you guys wishlist a game using my link, you will get a free skin in Unturned that could even be a mythical. If you guys want to learn more and want to participate in this event, make sure to join my Discord which will be in the description below. And let's get straight into the video. Alright boys, we are in Rust Turn. Have not played Rust Turn in, uh, in a few days now and we're gonna try to get ourselves, hopefully, a good run. Get ourselves a base, maybe do some raids, you know, the usual. Maybe a little wreck search. It's currently I'm all alone, but I won't be alone the whole time. Probably be a duo or a trio later on, we'll see. Now, there are a lot of people on the server, so probably we're going to die a bunch of times, but hopefully that won't be the case. There we go, we got ourselves a bow kit. I do have myself a few kits that the owner has given me a while ago, but I will not try to use them because they are uh, pretty strong kits, you know? Oh, a lot of shots going on here. There's no monuments here, so I guess somebody's getting raided, or I don't know, man. Maybe I should try to get myself a better kit, like a python kit or something like that. That would actually be really good, yeah. Let's get ourselves the python kit. Because with a bow against, I guess, LR or HMLMG, whatever this is. I don't think a bow is really gonna do anything. Yeah, it's this base over here. I think they're getting raided. We're obviously gonna try to uh, go ahead. And we're gonna try to maybe try to do a play. I don't know if it's gonna even be possible. And I'm gonna push up a bit. I think they're all inside. There's leathers, thankfully. I need to try to not make any noise. It's gonna be a bit annoying, but... Alright, there we go. Yeah, there's many... Oh my god, wait. Dude, I'm stuck. There's no way I got stuck. Yeah, I'm completely stuck. Oh my god, there's no way this just happened. Alright, well, I need to suicide, vault everything, and I'll uh, come back. Hopefully, I'll get a closer spawn. Let me mark it on the map. Yeah, they're getting raided definitely in there. They have sentries and everything. Can't really do much about it from here though. So I did suicide on mine and I'm on my way over to to the trade, but I already see a guy. And I think he's farming actually. We're gonna try to take him out. Still got my python, obviously. Yeah, he's just hopping over here. Alright, there we go, he's dead. Oh, alright, bro is uh geared. He has jackhammer. That's actually really nice. We got custom, so definitely an upgrade already. Right, I'm not gonna build the base yet though, I think I'm just gonna go try to counter this raid. I will vault the jackhammer on all of that sulfur, because that's actually a, a large amount of sulfur. Let's hide behind this tree, so hopefully he won't come back. And yeah, my teammate joined, let's do a group, he has to leave his group though. Alright, let's open vault, let's put all of the sulfur in here, let's drop that rock, and we'll put the jackie as well. Alright, lovely, we can put the python, oh yeah, I see it. There's two people over there. Alright, I'm gonna try to lay low. I don't really want to get killed by them. And we'll go try to counter that raid. If we do manage to successfully counter it, we'll just get out of there and build a new base. It would be a really good start if we manage to get it. There's some shotgun shots going on, so... Let me see my teammate is. So maybe if he's closer, uh, I would CPA to him. Oh yeah, he actually is closer. Uh, I'll CPA to him then. He's very close to that raid. Uh, he's literally right outside. My, teammate, my teammate's dead. Let's just take him out there. Alright, both dead. Bro, they removed the leather, man. Oh, feels bad. This is my teammate's loot. It's just a random loot pile. Oh, this is- Bro, he has a C4, what? Okay, I'm getting out of here, man. He has AK and everything. We can't get up there anyway. Dude, I don't care right now. We got C4. So I did actually use uh, an LR kit. I did not really want to mess it up, and it was worth it. Uh, we can't put the C4 in vault. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um, We'll put the custom- We'll keep roaming around with LR, and we'll get out of here, and we will build a, uh, we'll build a base. Let's put the AK, Thompson, a bunch of wood. Now we'll keep the ammo. We don't really, we, we don't really have anything for us to store. Yeah, I need rope to make a leather, and we don't have rope. It's gonna be a, a bit of a problem, unfortunately. Yeah, it's alright, let's just get out of here. I'm really happy with the C4 anyway. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. 
Are you guys trying to start your own uncertain server and have no clue where to start? Then check out Point Hosting. Point Hosting is super easy to learn, the navigation is also very user friendly and not hard at all to learn. All the servers have really high performance with DDoS protection. When I started my own servers, I had no idea how to do anything, but after a few minutes I learned the basics. They have locations all around the globe, the pricing is also very cheap and they also have a variety of game servers to choose from including Rust, Arc and also Minecraft. A really good feature by Pine Hosting is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. If you have a server with another provider, Pine Hosting can help you move them as well. Make sure to check out Pine Hosting today and use the code LDG for 30% off and let's get straight into the video. Alright, so we did manage to escape, so now we're just gonna start farming wood, stone, so that we can build, uh, we can build a base, basically. I can find myself a good base location. Don't really want to build it very close to the main monuments, but still between a few monuments here and there, so that we can still be able to loot, and if we hear shots, we can counter all of that. And we got ourselves a hatchet, beautiful. So now it's farming time. Alright, so the base is built, kind of. We still need to upgrade basically everything, but we got ourselves a TC. I'm gonna make ourselves some storage very soon as well, and we need to put, like, everything in it. Really happy that the C4, we did not lose it, basically. Alright, let's place... up. Oh, never mind. Let's place ourselves the bed. There we go. Got ourselves two beds. Door has been placed as well. We need to go get metal for a code lock now. That's really what we need to do. And my teammate farmed a lot of wood and uh, stone by the looks of it. So now let's just start upgrading everything that we need. For now, it'll just be stone, but it's enough. Then later on, we'll upgrade it to metal and even high quality, perhaps. We'll maybe build this full base into HQM. Strongest material, so hopefully we won't get raided today. Because everyone raids on the server, <laughs> literally. But we did find ourselves, I think, like quite a quiet spot. So I don't think a lot of people will actually be gumming here. So what I gotta go get is I gotta go get some metal for X so that we can make ourselves a code lock. That is the uh, the next step. Put everything over here. Hopefully nobody will roam past, open the door, and get everything. Oh, there's a dude over here. There we go, he's dead. There's just nothing in here. Oh, bro, had some stuff. Oh, he had an AK. Oh, we have so much stuff to salvage. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. Some scrap as well. Right, let's go recycle then. Very nice. Is there anything in here? No, there's nothing. Alright, we'll put everything. That's pretty good though. We got scrap for the door now, so that's pretty nice. I'm still in combat. I can't open it. Alright, so something about the server, if you guys didn't know, is that there's functional recyclers, functional workbenches, functional everything on the server. It's very, very, very cool. Functional furnaces, oil refineries, everything. We'll put all of this in vault. We got ourselves another AK, so that's actually pretty nice too. Roaming around with this for now. So we're gonna be a trio, a teammate did join. We got ourselves some scrap. So basically with the scrap we can unlock ourselves a bunch of blueprints. Since we got ourselves already a C4, if we make ourselves a research table we could research it. But we still need to get ourselves workbench level 3 in order to craft it. Currently we're not really gonna focus on making ourselves raiding gear to be honest. We're just gonna roam around trying to get ourselves as much loot as possible. Guns, materials. And then later on when we get ourselves hopefully a lot of stuff. Uh, we can start focusing on raiding. So that is really the, the goal that we currently have. Get ourselves some oil. So let's just cook. So that we can make ourselves some furnaces and base. Some more junk over here that we can salvage. Put these in there. There's a military crate here over there as well. Some scrap and SMG bodies. Oh there's people. Oh, my teammate's dead. Oh, there's a dude, right? I mean, he may be going around then. I gotta be... I mean, I'm gonna push to this side. Yeah, he's going around. Yeah, he finished off my teammate. He's not next to him then. Right, let's accept TPA. Oh, he's right over there. Alright, there we go. He's dead. I don't think he even realized that I was here, to be honest. Oh, bro had a bunch of junk. Alright, we'll take them. Yeah, he farmed basically a bunch of barrels. Let's put them all in here then. Get ourselves a bunch of more scrap, high quality, and metal frags. Get yourself some oil as well, beautiful. Let's keep it cooking for a little while longer and then we'll go to base and uh, seal it off. There's a bro right here. Wait, I can't even access his loot. What? Alright, well his back probably glitched in the plane. Alright, well that sucks. He had a gun, I'm pretty sure. He was naked though, he didn't have anything that crazy, but... Still, it would have been another gun, you know? Unless it was like a pistol or something. Oh, there's people there. Hit him. Hacha, he's dead. Bro, there's another guy. I can't hit him, man. Oh, he's in here. There we go. He's dead. Oh my god, bro. I had a billion guns. What? 
Oh, they have stuff in recycler too. Oh, that's really good. All right, we're starting to get uh, loot here and there, man. Really happy with it. We got ourselves a rocket launcher. It's empty, but still. We got ourselves a bunch of Hazis as well. All right, not too bad, not too bad. Really happy with it, actually. I mean, most of the guns are pistols, but... Rocket launcher is nice. We got a bolt here as well. Let's put vault. Let's vault the good guns. Shotguns, yeah. Bunch of revolvers. Bunch of frags. I got myself some crates. Let's make the code lock. There we go. Let's put it over there. All right, so the code that, that we got ourselves a code. It's actually pretty cool. Oh, wait. We have two codes now, apparently. Okay, that's just gonna complicate things a little bit, I think. So also it's time to start upgrading the base to full metal so now it's gonna take more c4 trade we should also upgrade our our door into metal because right now it's just wood bro there's people outside our base as well this is actually really bad let me upgrade it before they decide to start raiding my little base teammates aren't even here right now they're looting somewhere I got myself some furnaces let's just place them down so now we can start smelting stuff so that's actually really really good oh there's people they're back he's right up here at him. Oh, he's dead. All right. Lovely. Oh, apparently, wait. There's this base down here that's live. Oh, this base is... There we go. He's dead. All right. Oh, my teammate got down. Wait, let me go med him up. Oh, yeah. He's dead. There we go. Bro, there's no way that we literally live right next to a live base. Yeah, he, another dude dead. I don't think it's the same guy. It's somebody else. He has a large furnace in there. It's full metal base. Fortunately, we don't have raiding gear, though. Would have been great if we did. So, the owner of that base left the server. I'm um, upgrading it to HQM as well. So that it's even stronger. Put all of this material into the TC. Yeah, we need a lot of stuff to make more C4. But we'll probably try to focus on doing that later on. So that we could raid the neighbor. But he left the server, so... It doesn't really matter. Right, so, we also got workbench level 2. So, we can learn rocket. But we still need explosives. There's a lot of shots going on around here. It sounds like some big boy gun, so we're gonna go see what's going on. There's so many dead bodies around. It just despawns, technically. It's all the way over there, I think. I think I know where it is. Oh my god, what's going on? Wait, I think this base is getting raided or something. Oh, this could be huge. Wait, my teammate killed somebody. There's a loot pile here. Oh, dude. AKs. Is that a guy over there? There's so much loot, though. Oh, yeah, my teammate's shooting somebody. Oh, yeah, there's multiple people. All right, killed one. I'm getting shot at. Oh, oh, they came from the side. No. Oh, man. We're obviously gonna go back. There was so much loot going on over there. Alright, very loud shots going on around here, so... It must be right under them. Yeah, hit him. Hit him again. Wait, is he not dead? Hit him again. Bro, how is he not dead? There, now he's dead. Alright, and I think this guy is actually very geared. Yeah. Oh yeah, this guy was picking up everyone's loot! Oh, my teammate's almost dead. There we go. Let's heal him up. This is actually insane loot. Let's give him the HMLMG. I should actually depot this stuff. Or vault it or something. Yeah, my teammate's pushing up. Oh, he's dead though. Alright, I'm gonna vault the good guns. I heard steps. There we go. Kill the guild one. Oh, I cannot open vault now. Right, let's give my teammate some guns. Maybe they can vault it. Dude, I'm really happy with just this loot that we got already. Hit him, hit him. Uh, he kill killed them, alright, he's dead. Uh, I'm getting shot. There's so many people, man. Uh, I'm down. Alright, GG. At least I, I got some... At least I got some stuff in Vault. And these guys have, like, ranks and everything, so... Uh, my teammate homed. Alright, I guess he got some stuff as well. Yeah, he got everything else. Alright, not too bad. We're over at Dome. Oh, he's dead. Oh, there's one more dude. There we go, dead. Bro, there's so many people. What is he? What is he doing? 
There we go. Bro, what the hell is going on? Let's take everything. Oh, AK. Oh my oh my god, this guy was geared. Yeah, let's take everything. More guns. I thought there was a guy in here. Oh yeah, there is. Oh. There we go. Oh, he's geared as well. <laughs> Bro, everyone we kill on the server is just insanely geared. We got ourselves a bunch of more stuff that we can um, recycle as well, so that's uh, pretty nice. So, we'll probably head over and do that now. Alright, so we got ourselves a uh, blue key card, so let's enter here. There we go. Oh, we got a sentry. Oh, that's actually really good. Bro, there's elite crates, everything. Oh, salvaged pick. There's a normal box here. Oh, and that's his out. Oh, this is outside. Never mind. All right. Well, really happy with the sentry. Actually, we can now defend our base a little bit, just in case that dude that is living right under us decides to come back with raiding gear or something. I assume my teammates also got a red card. I don't know what they got. I hope that they got something good. Oh, your steps. Oh yeah, there is a guy. I knew it. My right, bro didn't have anything. He had a bunch of stuff that you can still recycle though, so that's pretty good. Had some scrap as well, so I won't complain. Managed to learn everything when it comes to the Tilda rocket launcher, basically, and we're gonna try to get ourselves workbench level 3 soon. We also learned Hazmat so that we can start going to dead zones and start getting, like, the main crates. So that's something that we'll definitely have to do there. I got myself a Hazmat suit. We should have a bunch of Hazmat suits around, though. And let's just vault it. Let's empty this as well. I guess maybe we could try to learn the med syringe too. We can craft as much as possible for meds. i put all of this here and very soon we're gonna go do a dead zone run. Try to get ourselves as much loot from possible over there. So I think we got quite a lot of loot as well. I'm really happy with the amount of loot that we're getting. In a very short time as well. We haven't been on the server for too long, like an hour and a half. Now oh, there's a dude here. Blasted, there you go, he's dead. I had some stuff, nothing that crazy though. Alright, so we're coming here mainly for the red room, to be honest. We do have a red card. Oh, I'm in combat mode, I can't even open the vault right now, because my red card is in, uh, is in vault. Let's see if there's any, like, elite crates around or something, but I don't think so. For some reason, we don't lose any radiation when we have a hazmat suit on the server, so... You can stay in here literally forever. There we go. Oh, there's so many elite crates. I was wondering if I have anything that crazy, a bunch of tech trash. Uh, nothing that good here either. We're getting ourselves a lot of components by the looks of it. But obviously the main thing that we came for is the uh, the crate. Oh, we got ourselves um, HLMNG, that's, that's pretty good. So now you gotta break this. We can punch it down. We can use guns, we can use whatever. I don't have an axe on me, unfortunately. It's gonna take a while with punching, obviously, but we don't waste anything for it. I mean, I could shoot it down <laughs> if I really want to. Oh, he had an axe. All right, that's good. The cool thing also is that if we want to check how much HP it has, we can just point. Yeah, it's almost, almost damaged. It's almost completely broken. Yeah, 21. It broke and... Oh, we got Explo Ammo. That's good. Other than that, nothing really that insane, unfortunately, but Explore Ammo is pretty nice. We got ourselves a billion Elite Crates, too. So, couldn't have been, could have been better, but could have been worse. Explore Ammo, we can research that now soon. There's Elite Crate here, another heavy jacket, salvaged pick. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. Alright, boys, so after that, I did home, and we did take all of the loot and leave the server for the day. It was a pretty good start. We got ourselves a lot of loot in a very short time. So only it took us around two hours to get this amount of loot, which is not really that bad. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more Australian videos in the future, let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.